everybody it's monday yay <laughs> all right i'm here to talk to you about a couple of very important things but number one it is the final countdown <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not gonna play any music because I'm really afraid that YouTube will like kick me off because education videos have a lot of rules. So no music, but we're getting there. Um, this Friday is May 1st, so we are in the final swing of things. The assignment that you are getting today is the final assignment for AP Lit, yay! Um, and of course, the final assignment for AP Lit is probably going to be Yay! <laughs> Am I the only one that's happy? Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, before you panic, okay? Hear me out. It is a, a Q2 prompt. We would have done this in class, only instead of having 50 minutes to write this in class, you have all week. You can get this done all week. I am expecting the same level of quality you would have written in class, and you have all week. That's a lot more time than you normally would have, and it is the final assignment, and it's on the rivers. So you can take the paragraph you already wrote, the claims that are already posted, and you can write your essay from that. So the three claims that Mr. Cox and I already put on Google Chat, and I, I'm going to give you again on the prompt, you can use those claims as the topic sentence in your paragraphs. If you like two of them but not the third, don't use the third. If you like all three, use all three. What you need to do is come up with an introduction, a thesis, and then write the rest of that. You should already have one paragraph done. I am commenting on those on the Google chat, so I'm trying to give you some feedback to make those paragraphs even better um, because I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to help you out. So let's look at this assignment really quickly um, before everybody panics, and I'm gonna post it when I post this video, so it will be okay. Um, I should probably, you know, share my screen. Let me share my screen with you. Here is the prompt. Boom. Okay. So uh, Caleb's already hanging out on this prompt. So Mr. Cox releases stuff way earlier than I do because he gets up way earlier than I do. I know you don't look at anything until noon, so I don't worry about it. Um, address this prompt. So carefully read the short story, The River. You should have done that already. That was last Monday. Um, I really like that short story. Um, I'm not a huge Flannery O'Connor fan, but it, it grew on me. The ending is, is intense. All right, so carefully read the short story, The River by Flannery O'Connor. Then in a well-constructed essay, analyze how the author portrays the complex experiences the boy encounters within his family and community. Yeah, he does that. You may wish to consider such literary elements as style, characterization, and selection of detail. You may wish. That doesn't mean you have to talk about those things. Okay, so we have already provided you these three claims. Um, and you should have already written a paragraph about them, and I'm gonna, I should have already given you feedback. I will finish giving feedback today. Um, but claim one, the boy comes from an unsupportive home, creating a lack of self-identity and value. There's a lot going on there. Um, the boy decides to go by a different name. Um, he doesn't have food. Um, his parents don't seem to care where he goes. Like there, and he's about four, which is weird because I have a four-year-old in it. So that's the story is really it's sad. Um, claim two: Every adult in the story fails to genuinely connect with the boy because they are blinded by their own worldviews. So his parents. Um, the babysitter, the preacher, everybody seems to completely miss this boy. Like nobody's making genuine connections with him. I think the only person who genuinely seems to care is the guy that runs after him at the end. Um, number th claim three, the boy's quest for meaning is ultimately unsatisfied. The boy, the boy wants and what he wants is kind of difficult. Does he want connection? Does he want family? Does he want love? Does he want to belong? Um, it's very difficult to sort of figure out, but that's where you can make that judgment. You can make that call. Um, if you're truly stuck, go and read some of the paragraphs that people are putting up for these claims. See where they're going. See what their ideas are. You have a lot of resources out there to write this really, really well. Um, and we put them in this order for a particular reason. So we're trying to, again, we're trying to help you. Use the order, use the claims, use your resources, use your classmates, go and look at all that kind of thing. So you may want to use the paragraph you've already created. If it works, use it. If it doesn't work, tweak it. Um, you may want to, you may not use the work of another student. So 
you can read their stuff and you can get ideas and see where they're going, but that should spark an idea within you and you need to develop your own thought, your own words. Remember, I have read and commented on all the Google chat responses. So I've read those before. Don't do that to yourself. Um, if, you, uh, if you get caught plagiarizing on this assignment, you get a brand new assignment and probably not gonna be done on May 8th. So be careful. Um, actually try to write within a time frame. So those of you who are taking the AP test, this is a really good first opportunity to see what 45 minutes feels like at your house. Um, because 45 minutes in a classroom and 40, Luke, shh, <laughs> sorry, 45 minutes in, at your house feel a little bit different. So set yourself a timer and see how close you get. Don't stop when you get to 45 minutes. That's not the point. I just want you to see, I want you to get start to get a feel for the time. Um, do not copy and paste your essay. Write it in Google Docs. So copying and pasting is a, the first flag that maybe it's not your work. Um, and we can look at the revision histories and all sorts of stuff. Um, I have a couple special apps. Um, so uh, be careful. Write it in Google Docs. I don't care if it takes you two weeks, to, well, a week to write it um, and you're writing it in pieces. I'm not going to, I'm not going to look over your shoulder at it, it's fine. So don't plagiarize, okay? So we notice this kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's especially easy to find it on the internet. Um, and it's especially easy to catch plagiarism when you're writing virtually. So be careful if you get caught, brand new prompt. All right, not done on May 8th. So be careful. This is the last assignment from us. It's a big grade. Um, it, is, it is not a final exam but it's the last assignment in your AP Lit class, so it's gonna be a little hefty. That's why we're giving you so much time and we've given you so much prep work and we've given you so much preparation. So again, here's the prompt. There are the claims. Um, I'm gonna give you this document <laughs> with your assignment. It says, hi, type your essay here, format it in MLA, MLA style, use evidence, delete these directions. I'm not giving you MLA structure, you should know MLA structure at this point in time. I cannot send you into the college and you not know what MLA looks like. So you need to write MLA here. Do not turn this document back at me looking like this. It should be formatted MLA and you need to type your essay here. Um, that's what I'm going to give you. So you'll be given those two documents with this assignment. Um, but one of the things you might be, you know, how do I start, how do I start? Starting is always the hardest part um, for for an essay. So here I have this. So I want y'all to remember way back when we were in school um, and we talked about tag it, title, author, genre, tone, and theme. So here, the boy in Flannery O'Connor's short story, The River, input the stuff that you're going to discuss. So here's the beginning of this idea. Um, so one thing that I haven't, so let's talk about title. So title is obviously here. We've got title. Boom. Done. We want author. Okay, boom, done. You can call her O'Connor for the rest of this. Flannery is an odd name, but you know, whatever. Old Southern lady. Um, genre, short story, boom. Um, tone and theme would obviously, they would go in this bottom part um, down here that you're talking about. Some tone words for this might be um, desolate, depressed, um, cold, uh, distant, like the boy is broken. Those are all tone words. Um, but the one thing that I haven't really mentioned before in a Q2, it, it is my um, is my little secret tip of this idea of the subject. So, what is what is the Q2 telling you to write about? In this case, if if you look back at the prompt, the Q2 says the boy's experience. So you need to be writing about the boy. Um, and here you get the boy. Boom. So I say start with the subject, the boy. If you, if they're like, hey, write about the pokey little puppy and the pokey little puppy's adventure. Start with the subject. That's the pokey little puppy, the pokey little puppy in Guy's book. Um, but that's a way to get this started. So what are those boys, what's, what is the boy's experience with his family and his community? Well, I mean, it's, it's sort of a lack of experience. It's a neglect. Um, and you should talk about that. The boy, the boy is, a, he is a sponge. Children are sponges. They soak things up. 
and he's just desperate to soak up anything he can. He gets the slightest little hint that the woman likes the preacher Bevel, and he's like, well, my name is Bevel. Um, I, I am religious, but he doesn't. He, he soaks up everything in the, in the hope of feeling something. Um, so I'm going to pause on this screen in case you want to take a screenshot of it. Um, and it, it, cause it's, I feel like it's probably a good idea to get started. Uh, but let's go back. I'm going to stop that share real fast. All right. I'm back here with the Death Star. Um, so I think that we talked last week about May 4th. May 4th is my cutoff date because again, I have to read all these things. I have to, um, I have to start making my list of the, you know, the naughty and nice list, like who is on track to be done on the 8th and who is not on track to be done on the 8th. So one of the things that you're going to get from me on um, is this calendar. I added a new thing to the calendar. So today is the 27th. You're getting your last assignment. You notice that it is, you have all week to get that done. Um, I don't know what that is. You have all week to get that done. Um, here on the 4th, last day uh, for work submission to be considered for May 8th. So I need everything by the 4th. Um, if you've got some, unless I've spoken to you. If I have spoken to you and we have a different plan, we have a different plan. You know who you are. All right. But May 4th is what I need from 99% of you. And then I added a, a thing here. Expect a message from Summerlin on your doneness. So sometime during the week of May 4th to May 8th, I will send you a message, probably on Remind, um, hey, you are on track to be done May 8th. Boom. Hey, you are not on track to be done May 8th. Do A, B, C. Boom. So expect that message to be coming out for me starting next Monday. Um, also, I still have uh, grade conferences. I will release that with this video as well. If you want to sign up to talk to me today um, or tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or whatever it is, go ahead and sign up. When your appointment rolls around, I will send you the link that you need so that we can have that conversation uh, privately. Uh, it can be about whatever you need it to be about, grades, your progress, catching up, any of those things. I am here. It is there. And I am willing to speak to anybody who's not four years old and wants to talk about Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I think that's all that I have today. Um, I know that you're probably going to be quietly freaking about, about the essay assignment. It's going to be okay. Okay. It's going to be okay. You have all week to get it done. You've already written one paragraph. You know this story. You can look at what um, your classmates have written, have conversations with them. It's a good place to start. You can do this. Final assignment. Last thing. You're going to get no more assignments from me. Is it that exciting? You're welcome. I miss you. Goodbye, seniors. <laughs> Almost, baby. Bye, guys.